We have another Fallout TV show leak, and gosh, do I hope that this is not a real leak. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I actually had a different bit of content planned for today, talking about the writer's strike and how it potentially could impact the Fallout TV show. And then of course I check Twitter and I see this leak. So I just wanna give you a little bit about the attribution of where this leak came from. So most of the leaks I get and share with you guys come from Hunter World V2 who gets them off of uh, Reddit and he is a mod on the subreddit for the Fallout TV show. So shout out to Hunter, shout out to that subreddit and shout out to the user who posted these. All great stuff. That being said, let's move into the content of this leak. So this is probably the most, the biggest thing out of this leak, I guess. The thing that makes me the most terrified because can we get a closer look at this ghoul here? I'm going to make it nice and big for you guys. So we have seen this gentleman on the right, um, the guy who literally looks like he is a copy paste of every single guy I went to college with. Yes, I went to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. It is a very Caucasian, very generic school producing generic Caucasians like myself. Um, anyway, th the guy we have seen before, so that makes me think that this could potentially be a legitimate leak, which makes me even more nervous because look at the ghoul standing next to him. What is going on with this ghoul? Please, please tell me. Why does the makeup look like that? Do I think this would be a really great cosplay? And I'd be like, hey, amazing cosplay. Yes, I do. Do I think it's to the quality for a high budget television show on a network that's streamed, not a network, but a streaming service that's owned by a billionaire? No, no, I do not. It makes me nervous. And this is the second time that it appears that this gentleman who's holding the Nuka-Cola is standing next to what I think is a dummy or like a, a prop of some sort. Um, you can also see a little uh, thing in the background that says, we will, don't know what it says. And the vault number is 33, a confirmed vault that is going to be in the television show. What is going on with this ghoul? Why would a ghoul even be in a vault is a big question. Obviously, the vault doors have been opened. <laughs> There's ghouls in this vault or some kind of experiment went way wrong. But I'm concerned about this one, guys. This is the first time I have not been excited to see a leak coming out of the Fallout TV show because what is going on with this ghoul? What is going on with this ghoul? I am nervous about this ghoul. I was frightened to see this image, and I am not excited about it. What I will say I am excited about is I'm liking the Nuka-Cola bottle. I, I don't think it's the Nuka-Cola bottle that Bethesda uh, is selling because I just looked over on my shelf and it doesn't look like it. I am excited about the Pip-Boy, which we are getting a lot more detail about here if this is a legitimate leak, which again, oh, it could go either way. Um, the Pip-Boy does look a bit different than other Pip-Boys we have seen. This is probably the most detailed photo of the Pip-Boy we have seen thus far. This is a really legitimate looking photo. I mean... I don't know. Why does it also look like they're about to make sweet, sweet love? Like, this is a seductive face to make it your friend, ghoul? I don't know. I, but as I get closer and closer to this image of this ghoul, it almost looks like he's struggling to hold this cigarette in his mouth and does not look real in any way, shape, or form. But perhaps things will be done in post to make the ghoul look better better. That is my hope. That is what we pray for. And that is what we're dreaming for. So the little bit less excited elements of this are um, this image of a computer kind of just looks like a generic computer from that era. This Im uh, image that says government. And I think something else, all I can read is the word reds, but I don't think that's what it actually says. And then uh, another image of the vault door. Been there, seen that. You know, the biggest, most bombastic element of this leak is definitely this image, which almost looks like professional promo image or someone snuck in their smartphone and took this image. And I think the two coolest elements we get out of this image are, in fact, the Pip-Boy and the Nuka-Cola. The vault suits we've seen before, they almost look a bit like the cosplay vault suits that we have in our homes, just a little bit better. But what's going on with what's going on with the ghoul makeup, guys? Are you nervous to see this ghoul makeup? Are you as nervous as I am to see this ghoul makeup? Are you excited about it? What are your thoughts? I want to know. Does this look like uh, like a dummy or just like a really weird mask? The practical effects are starting to make me a little bit nervous. I am not going to lie to you. The ghouls are a little freaky looking. They're and not freaky looking in the right way. I would imagine. I will say they did do the nose pretty well. 
But I don't know. I was talking with Nywall about this just a moment ago, and I was like, hey, why didn't they just hire the people who did The Walking Dead? They would do a good job on that makeup. We saw some convincing zombies on that show, and that's kind of essentially what ghoul makeup is. Especially if you look at the older Fallout, Fallout 3. They, they look pretty messed up. So... That's my take, and I had to get this breaking Fallout TV show news to you, my followers. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you nervous by this leak? Are you excited by this leak? Are you thinking that maybe this is just a cosplay shoot? What do you think of the Pip-Boy? What do you think of the new Coca-Cola? Let me know it all. And of course, have a safe and wonderful day in the wasteland, my lovelies. And I will catch you in the next video, which I've already recorded and was going to post today. Okay, bye.